Welcome to day three of the introductory path to meditation. In our previous sessions, we practiced two meditation techniques to learn to focus our attention, and through this, to gain control over our mind and relax our body. Today, we are going to continue practicing how to focus our attention through the use of awareness. Awareness is about being fully present in the moment you are living, being so present and so focused that every little detail is fully perceived, appreciated, and experienced. To put it another way, imagine yourself standing on a hill, looking at a beautiful lake in the middle of a meadow on a sunny summer day. When we see images like this, we generally focus on the bigger picture or the overall composition of the landscape before us. However, when we carefully focus on every detail that composes the landscape, in this case, the lake, everything becomes somewhat enhanced. We notice the lake reflecting the sunlight, the noise of the water splashing on the shoreline, the trees standing tall with their leaves moving in the wind, the birds chirping and flying around, the sunny, bright blue sky, the smell of spring in your nose, the warmth of the sunlight on your body and the perception of how vast and wonderful the view is. Appreciating all of these elements individually and then as a whole with every sense of our body is what we refer to as awareness. And it is only then that we are truly present and living that very moment to its fullest. At first, awareness may seem like a lot of work especially when we have to consciously focus our attention on something. However, we have all used awareness at some point or another. For example, when we meet someone new that we are attracted to, we want to know every detail about that person, so we observe them with full attention. That is one of the most common examples of the use of awareness. Practicing awareness makes it easier to sort out our emotions, thoughts, and actions regarding situations happening around us, which then leads us to having better control of our reactions towards these situations and the way they affect us. Before we begin, think about how you feel at this very moment. Notice any physical or emotional feeling, but try to maintain a neutral approach towards it. Adopt a comfortable posture, sitting on a chair with your feet placed parallel to each other, no wider than your hips, and solidly on the ground. Rest your hands in a comfortable position and make sure your palms are either resting on your knees or one on top of the other, resting on your lap, opened and relaxed. Keep your back straight and tall, your chin parallel to the ground, and your eyesight straight ahead. At your own pace, take a long, deep inhalation through your nose and a long exhalation through your mouth, making it as long and gentle as is comfortable for you. Make sure you don't force your breathing, but instead try to extend it in a gentle way. During your next exhalation, gently close your eyes. Whenever you feel ready, return your breath to its normal pace. While keeping your eyes closed, see if you can identify any particular sounds you hear, starting with the most obvious one.
If necessary, repeat in your head what kind of sound you are hearing. At your own pace, take one more long, deep breath. Now see if you can identify any sound that is further away, like the distant sound of cars passing by, or the sound of a train far away. Identify the sound, and if necessary, label it in your head. Every sense in our body gives us the capacity to interact with the world in a unique way. Our eyes draw the details of what we see. Our hands feel the texture of what we touch. Our ears listen to the sound of what we hear. Our nose registers the smells we perceive. Our mouth savors what we taste. When we consciously use our senses, we are being fully aware of our surroundings and thus we are fully present in the moment. Slowly and at your own pace, bring your attention back to the room. Gently move your feet up and down like pushing on a pedal. Slowly close and open your hands, maybe even move your head gently from side to side, and at your own pace, open your eyes. As you go about your day-to-day, -day, 
Make a conscious effort to fully notice as many details as possible in everything you do and with every interaction you have with the world. Be fully present and aware of your surroundings. Congratulations on completing the third day of the introductory path to meditation. Have a good day and we'll see you here tomorrow.